to the size of that walleye. You know, every year, I do a lot more of this method of fishing. And it's the best bites that I see throughout the year in the middle of summer in a warm water period. It's a method of fishing that you gotta add to your bag of tricks. You know, the bait that we're fishing today is kind of a new one, really. It's a uh, arapala. It's called a snap wrap. Let me compare this to the standard jig and wrap. See the top, how much difference? You see how much water this will grab when you snap it? That's the idea to get the lift and glide. This bait is much thinner. The wings are much bigger, even though the size is bigger. The bait reacts different. This bait doesn't have the same action that this bait does. The snap wrap is not made to replace the jig and wrap. It's made to complement the jig and wrap. When you look at this bait, it's really sort of, it has an interesting design. You can see it actually has a lead body underneath it, and then it actually has a plastic sheath that goes over the bait. Now take a look at the size of the fin, the width of the bait, the whole idea was to take this snap wrap, give it more lift, and give it more glide. That was the design concept behind it. Now the Europeans, they designed this bait for open water fishing. They're, they're available in two different sizes now. There's a bigger bait, a bigger profile, bigger fish, I will hit it. Before the day's over, you're gonna see what I'm talking about when I'm saying a bigger fish, I'll, I'll hit this. Jim. Whoa. Oh, big, big, big guy, man. Big guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, watch it now. Okay, look at the size of that. Wow. <laughs> look at the size of that pipe. <sighs> That's one thing about yeah, this yeah. technique, which is really interesting. And you know it's a really good technique when it catches so many varied species of fish. You know, we've caught walleye, big pike, uh, panfish, crappies. Actually, my dad did some experimenting down in salt water, and he's catching tarpon and uh, redfish in holes in river situations. One of the real keys to be successful is, uh, you know, experimenting with different baits. And I can tell you one thing, this snap wrap technique, deep water fishing, it's really an amazingly uh, simple technique. It's just unbelievably effective, it really is. So what I'm gonna do is just hit, simply flip the bait out away from the boat, let it sink down to the bottom, and just start moving along. So you have a little distance. You're not actually fishing the bait vertically. You're actually dragging the bait on an angle away from the boat. And it's at about like a, a 60 de degree angle. And I'm just ripping the bait off the bottom. One of the biggest things is, is I'm, I'm not following the bait as it falls back to the bottom. You're actually letting it fall on a slack line. Seems like that is a little bit of a better triggering. You don't want to slow the, uh, the drop speed of the bait. It is a reaction bite. And uh, you, you know, a lot of times you hear people talk about uh, uh, fishing for bath, bath, bass with a reaction bait, something that's moving real fast, yeah, you know, through the water column and going in a horizontal movement. Well, this is a reaction bite, but it's in a vertical movement. That bait is a heavy bait, and it jumps off the bottom and it flops right back down in their face. And you know, they, it, they're reacting to that bait just, just they just go boom and hit it. Got him. Yeah. Yeah. So the key to the presentation is a rhythm. You get a rhythm to the depth, to the speed, to the wind, and uh, you just catch a load of fish. Just a load of fish. There you go, that's a big, big gal there. Oh, man. look at that one. Oh, there I could go. tell, now yeah. that, now that is a snap wrap walleye, if I've ever seen one. Popping, ripping, snapping, whatever you want to call it, you put that wrap on. Get down there and start bouncing it and you're gonna catch the fish of a lifetime.